police and school officials are investigating after fights broke out at Academy Park High in Sharon Hill yesterday over the district's ban on hoodies. NBC 10's Karen Hua spoke to parents and students today about why this happened. Oh, Chaos on campus. It started as a peaceful protest. Students at Academy Park High against the new ban on hoodies. But it ended in fights like this, where 10 kids were ultimately arrested. What just happened? Police say students damaged property, attacked school officials, and law enforcement officers. And then there are four more fights breaking out left and right. People are punching security guards. Charisma Petty is one of the student organizers of the original peaceful protest. Three weeks ago, parents went to the school board worried fights were increasing. Then last week, the district put in the hoodie ban in an attempt to solve that problem. They said that the hoodies were uh, being used to remain unidentified in schools and hallways because we have cameras above. But some students say the hoodie ban is more an issue of race and class. Our school is primarily black. That's what we spend on clothes. We mostly buy hoodies and it's hoodies are just a thing of black culture. Other parents and leaders think the dress code change could have been handled better. It should have been done differently and we could have probably discussed it in the beginning of the school year. Anytime that you're doing a uh, uh, a band of anything, you should involve the students. Now, the irony, the hoodie ban to prevent fights like this led to this one. And now that you, you fight and you argue and you break stuff, they are not going, they're not going to give us what we want. Superintendent Brenda Winder declined to do an interview with us, but she gave us a statement saying, quote, school officials are working with local authorities to identify those parties involved and appropriate consequences will be issued per our district code of student conduct. So campus is quiet today as all classes were moved to be virtual and the school board is having an emergency meeting at seven o'clock tonight to discuss this issue. Police say more arrests could be coming in the upcoming days. In Sharon Hill, Karen Hua, NBC 10 News.